For listeners who are not watching the video, mm. my legs are pretzel twisted all the way behind my head, like to my back. And I'm I, getting a great view. You are. It's just my full. It's a full black hole. And Lucas's <laughs> head is inside. I don't know what I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro! <laughs> you just come here. It's a very different podcast. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me let me get a little more comfortable. It is a uh, let's do oh, one of these. Lucas oh, yeah, just man, put you're... his leg inside of me, and now his, <laughs> his oh. foot is coming out of my mouth like wow. a sword. <laughs> oh, Devonkor is watching. Yeah, this what? is this is the weirdest Kama Sutra I've seen. Have you seen a lot of Kama Sutra? How many? Yeah, that... Wait, how many Kama Sutras are there? Wrong there answers is, uh, only. Uh, about over a hundred, I would say. Okay, okay. But under three thousand. Sure. Do you have a favorite? Could you be less I specific? Would, <laughs> I would say I would say uh, probably one thousand fifty six is probably my favorite. Okay. I'm so, but that's what everyone chooses. I wouldn't say so if you ask different parts of uh, different. Like maybe someone in Russia would disagree. Mm. So, well, oh, so are you saying there's a Russian Kama Sutra? Is that one of them? Well, there's debates over it. Yeah, we're There's boycotting Russian Kama Sutra right now. Exactly. Right? You know? Cancel yeah. Russian Kama Sutras. Yeah. <laughs> Justice for Ukraine. <laughs> Ukrainian Kama Sutra That's right. only. Power up. Power up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're like waiting with bated breath for us to introduce you, but what if we never do? No, no, no. Oh, that would be even better, dude. <laughs> <laughs> even better. Just an air of mystery around this boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Can you sense it? Can I what? Uh, sorry, I, I kind of just put that under my breath. I do that a lot. No, actually. no, I heard you. Could I sense it? Yeah. Yeah, I could sense it. Wow. Yeah. Well, I feel comfortable now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, that I can hear the under your breath tone yeah. of your voice? Yeah, because yeah, I feel like my impression of you, like having hung out with you a few times but not knowing you super well, is that that is where a lot of your register is. It's yeah. like the over-the-breath yeah. jokes and the under-the-breath jokes. Yeah. yeah. I've started unironically just doing your laugh. Really? Yeah, I just go, oh. I just do. <laughs> he just did it. <laughs> I Damn, just, dude. In I what setting? Like a coffee shop? Anytime I... <laughs> Only in cafes, yeah. At yeah. a protest. No. It would be anytime I hear something like not that outrageous, but a little outrageous, and I want to like pretend like it's really outrageous, I go, Oh, 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 oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're doing it naturally. Yeah. Well, that's, I can't. Yeah, that's his laugh. Yeah, this is a good impression of me, huh? Thanks. I don't believe you. I think you spent hours in front of the mirror faking the, like, what's the perfect laugh? Like Elizabeth Holmes. You know how she did the fake voice? Do you know about Elizabeth uh, Holmes? Could you guys give me like an impression of it? Um, uh, so for Theranos, you test your blood and then fairies come and jack you up. I don't know. What it, but what's her laugh like? Um, I don't know if I've ever heard her laugh. She's a pretty ha, joyless ha, woman. Ha, ha, ha. I remember going to the beach with my uncle. <laughs> wow. I remember how much I loved him. Theranos would have saved my uncle. <laughs> You never heard of this woman? The, I, I have, to be fair, I didn't hear of this woman until like a couple months ago. Oh, okay. This is a very recent discovery for me as well. So not to shame you. Well, shame me for other stuff, but not yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it for that. But like, what was she like? What does she? What does she do? Is she into math or something? Like, wh what's? Uh, she sounds like she's into math or like maybe <laughs> biology a little. I just want you to keep guessing. Like, what? She, uh, if she's like a comic, we know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We keep we keep talking about like so. From what our description, what do you think Elizabeth Holmes has done? What is well? I don't want to make the obvious choice of Sherlock Holmes and like her doing mystery. Okay, okay, mm. okay. Fair, very. But fair. judging by that reaction, that might be it, huh? But also, I will say it's not that. But uh, go with something else. This what is about, interesting. She's into like maybe ergonomic geometry or something. What ergonomic is geometry. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I think I just made that up, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, what it's, it's I keep getting math. I keep also getting uh, probably something with science. I like that you're doing this like you're a fortune teller. I was thinking, yeah, I was like, here's I'm like, mm, I'm getting. Oh, this. 
Mm, I'm getting I'm getting math. I'm getting something with biology. Well, how do you mm. guys think? <laughs> well, well, we know. We don't. In- <laughs> we don't intuit with our minds. Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, that's what just if, you. What if Elizabeth Holmes is the biggest April Fool's prank, and oh. that everything? I don't want to hear pranks. I hope it's real. I hope she really. And the series with people. Amanda Seyfried, total bogus. Elizabeth Holmes, by the way, is a is a medical field scammer, uh, a prankster. So I was right with medicine, with science, kind of. You were right. Yes. Yeah. She yeah. she had this fake company where like you could do fake blood tests. Uh, with well, they were supposed to be real blood tests, but you could do you could do blood tests with one drop of blood in like a tiny box. But yeah. obviously, that doesn't work because right. you need more than one drop of blood. That's why they draw so much blood yeah. from your arm. Yeah. Wait, let me just turn off the my speakers on my computer because it's popping. That's Elizabeth calling in. Oh yeah, she's phoning in with that one <laughs> drop of blood. The spirits they're telling us. What's she saying? Uh, she's saying, "Oh yeah, hold on, I'm getting." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Channel, yeah, yeah. channel it for us. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so she's in the medical field. You said. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, she said uh, if you give her one drop of blood, one drop, just one drop, that's all she needs, and she could, uh, she could probably uh, figure out what diseases you have, mm-hmm. but also, but also figure out your favorite donut flavor. And it's an April Fool's Day miracle. What else? What else? What else? But um. She's she's real into Monopoly as well, and she could probably figure out the right strategy if you give her just again one drop of blood. <laughs> <laughs> just one drop will cure it all. There's these fixes for one drop, like a whole a whole pint of blood. Maybe you'll figure out some stuff if you have a deficiency or something. Mm-hmm. But just one drop will give you some Monopoly answers. That's why she always plays as the Monopoly piece, uh, the small needle. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Wait, what's your what's your piece of choice? My piece of choice. I like the I like the house. It feels safe. I like the hat. Mm, I oh. like the thimble. Is that yeah. weird? No. Well, it's good because you're a woman, and that's what you use for sewing, for sewing and, and uh, knitting. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah. yeah. Back in Look the old days. Over here. Back in the olden <laughs> oh, days. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and the current day. I'm actually really bad at sewing. It's really yeah. hard. Oh, I've I've tried sewing like well, I've tried like stitching stuff up a couple times and it always falls apart. It's unbelievably difficult. Have you oh, tried yeah. it? No, it takes too long. I feel like yeah. it takes a long, long time. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know what would get me to do it. I've painted before and that took a long time, but I really enjoyed it. Was that some? Was there something that got you to paint? Yeah, I got high. I got really high. <laughs> <laughs> and then, have and you then, tried getting high and doing sewing? No, I haven't. But I also had the materials gathered for painting. Oh, right. I see. So I see, if I, I had see. the materials gathered for yarn work, mm. I would try it. Yarn work. Oh, so you, would you do crochet, crocheting while high? If you like knew what you were doing, I think that would be really fun. Yeah, I'll just get to like zone out and get it. lost in the, in the stitching. Oof. Yeah, great but I also feel like something would be burning in the distance, and I wouldn't, you know, because <laughs> like I would put something on to cook. And then I oh. would just be like, "This." I is- thought you meant like the Wizard's Tower. <laughs> like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's not what I'm getting. That's not what I'm getting. He can only crochet when there's a burning building <laughs> next door. <laughs> it's yeah, what inspires need, you. Yeah, I need the ambiance. Totally, very Absolutely. cottage horror. And speaking of ambiance, we have the best ambiance in the world on Two Nosy Meerkats. Two Nosy podcast. Meerkats, the most Welcome. ambient podcast, and number eighty nine of comedy podcasts in Lithuania. Last time I checked. Whoa! Yeah. What a stat. Yeah, what is How that? do you feel about that stat? Are you are you boggled? Are you impressed? I feel like that would definitely impress my grandpa, for sure. Is he a big fan of Lithuania? Or podcasts? Well, if you told him something, he always just goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it would just impress him. It's so sweet. That's what my grandmother does, too, except she doesn't go, oh. Woo. She goes, shoop, shoop. <laughs> Is he trying to? Is she trying to tell you to go away? She, she's not. She's like, it's more of a remark. It's a very emphatic remark. If it's a, when we tell her it's snow, how often it snows in New York? Because she's in South Africa where it's warm. She goes, oh, all the time. Sure. Oh. <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah, it's like shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Yeah, and then she slaps the <laughs> shit out of me. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And it's like that. That's what it is in like translated into American talk. I feel. Just like Shoop. all the time, shut up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Psh, no. yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why we can now look at South Africa's actions so critically because we see them from the lens of uh, your grandmother. My grandmother. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I feel like we should introduce our guest. You know, 
I guess. Cool. Never mind. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with it. Our guest is a fantastic comedian who I've gotten to know uh, better over the past couple years. Give yourselves, give yourself, give yourselves, a give welcome. yourselves a round of applause. Not yeah. our guest. Give yourself, give a round of applause for the wonderful Debunkor. Hey! Can oh, I yeah. ask, like, do you prefer? Well, actually, can I ask, do you prefer Debunkor or would you prefer to be introduced as Debunkor Chatterjee? Well, the first one, but now you've ruined it. <laughs> it's the second no one. No one was no, supposed no, to know his last name. No, no, it, it's, it's okay. It, it's not a big deal. It's just that there's not a lot of debunkers out there. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when I just go up as that, it's it's also just a long name to write. So it's it fair. A there's a lot of letters. Yeah. There are a lot of letters. Yeah. So just debunkers is fine. But same with Benedict Cumberbatch. A lot of letters. Maybe yeah. even more than debunker Chatterjee. Yeah, but there's far more Benedicts out there. Arnold, for one, your last name. Yes. You're related to him, aren't you? I am. I've deep ties in this country. Deep ties of betrayal to this country. Oh, man. And look what this got you. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Can Can I admit something honest to you guys? I kind of don't really know what Benedict Arnold did. I He's just a damn liar. He was a, uh, I think, because I start. Wait, what? Who did he lie to? You? Uh, I wouldn't say myself, but maybe some of my family members back. Back in the day, mm. he, did he lie to your grandfather? He was like, "I have the seventy ninth most popular <laughs> podcast in Lithuania." <laughs> oh, <laughs> just admitted we're lying about that. Fuck. Shoo. 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 I think what he did is that he was in the. Um, I think that he was in like the Revolutionary Army, but really he was a double agent for the Royalists. That's what I think. Mm. That's what I think it was. I know because I I, I started rewatching Liberty's Kids. Did you ever watch that show Liberty? on PBS? PBS Kids. Oh no, I watched uh, other stuff. Definitely other stuff. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> What'd you watch? A PBS. Uh, yeah, I PBS. remember. Uh, what was the guy that had like a rat? He was a rat. Kim Possible. No, no, no. That that's Disney. That's Disney. Rat guy PBS. Yeah, it's so famous. I just forget. I'm blanking on the name. Arthur, Mr. Rat. Rocket Rat. Arthur. 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 Oh, yeah. right. He has a rat. <laughs> he's a, he's a rat. He he's looks a ra- like a rat. He's a rat. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Just what po- was uh, li- <laughs> Liberty's sons about? Liberty's kids. Liberty's kids. It was right. about these three kids that um, uh, live in. The printing press house owned by Benjamin Franklin in Philadelphia, and they it's them being sort of like involved in the course of the American Revolution. Oh my god, how would you know that at like five? What? Like you did you watch PBS Kids at five? I would say around like six to ten. Oh, okay. We had different experiences. I expected like someone to watch it at like five. Yeah, Debunkor like, was cool. Well, so. I, I didn't say that, you did. But um, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this bitch's words, not mine. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I never watched. Uh... Can I say the cool kids in my school watched Liberty's Kids? Okay, it was yeah. a status symbol. Did you guys I'm... like hang over it like at lunch tables and talk about it a lot? We talked about it while we had hangovers. That's really. Oh yeah, that's what like we too did. Too much chocolate milk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we yeah. got shwasty on the chalky milk. Yeah. Oh yeah, the chocolate milk was the cool kids one. Oh yeah. I loved chocolate. Did you have milk, a? Yeah. And I was not cool. Oh, breaking the mold well you're cool now you're such a revolutionary i am oh speaking of revolutionaries benedict cumberbatch turned out it was kind of a scammer had some shady business dealings really? indeed oh yeah yeah early investor in theranos he was uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> he his face looks like he's done something wrong <laughs> that's like, why his face looks like that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's like something he did something wrong there's always something like even in doctor strange you're just like what what is he really doing? What is he, is he fixing something or is he gonna break something? Yeah. Are you positing the theory that if someone's ugly, they're more likely to be suspicious? I don't think he's ugly. He just there's there's something about him that just says I did something wrong. You know that doesn't necessarily mean ugly. Something suspicious just about is it anything about his face? Is it his eyes? Is it his nose, mouth, I would hair? Say it's what around around his eye area? Maybe his orbital area? Yeah. His or like. Near his eyes, but the also orbs in his face, yeah. He, he, there's something there, like near his nose, too. Nostrils, mm. 
there's something just just in that trying the Bermuda Bermuda face triangle. <laughs> just, <laughs> just within that. Yeah, I know what it is. It's that yeah, face yeah. is where they lost Amelia Earhart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one can find her now. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what's so suspicious about it. Amelia's in there. Do That's you guys right. think she's really dead? I think she was never really alive. Mm. Bold take, if I say so myself. Well, let's take a second for that. <laughs> <It's just laughs> a moment of silence for <laughs> Amelia Earhart. <laughs> 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 Better to cumber back, just like stay in there, bitch. <laughs> I think I She's think like trying to claw out yeah, of his face. Kinda, <laughs> let me out. He kind of looks like he doesn't let I'm all hungry. of his thoughts out. Like he doesn't let all of them out. Like he puts somewhere. Like he puts it in like a like a storage unit. They get lost in Bermuda's triangle of yeah, the space. That's yeah, what, that's what I mean. But I'm pretty sure he's a nice guy. Hmm. Yeah. So you think the thoughts are nice, even though they're stored away somewhere yeah, horrifying? Yeah, I feel like he just doesn't let it out. Like, he's got more nice to give, but he doesn't let it out. Well, can I tell you, that was a little bit of kind of what I thought of you when I first met you. Oh, really? Is that really? Like, well, because remember, you yeah. remember the first day we, we met in, like, uh, in Prospect Park. Yeah. In, in, uh, at our friend's show that... um. I don't even remember what we were talking about, but I was just like, I don't trust you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were just like, I'm not having any of this. <laughs> yeah. And then the thing was... is, like, you kept saying stuff, but then laughing at what you said. Yeah. I don't and know. Then I was... guy. No, I, I realize that now. But when I first met you, I was like, what is going on? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You had no clue. And uh, I also kept like playing on that. Like, I was just like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. And I didn't even try to get on your good side. <laughs> 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 Yeah. It's been a while since then. I hope you have a, a decent gauge of who I am. We'll get into that later. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I have some th I have some thoughts as well, but I do mm. think to bring them up early, I wonder if you are a, a victim of being a person who is outgoing yet soft spoken. So people mm. think you're shy because you speak quietly. Um, what do you mean? Like I like I have like a loudspeaker heart, but like a soft, uh, a soft voice. Yes. A soft voice. Um, no, I was a pretty quiet kid. Were I, you? Yeah. I would talk to like people around me, but never out loud. Oh. Like, like only like, I would only make jokes to like people next to me because I didn't want to speak it too loudly. Cause I, I see. Yeah. Did something bad happen if you spoke it too loudly? Well, I, I, I think you guys know I grew up in Catholic school, so yes. they were uh, they were very strict. And talk about when you uh, first went to Catholic school. Let the people know. How old were you? I was uh, I was four years old. And I remember going in there. There was a lot of a lot of uh, maroon halls, a lot of brick, a lot of brick, and a lot of crucifixes, of course. And the the ladies were always nice, but then as soon as you walked past the hall, like there was an opening for a door, and then you walk walk past the hall, they would instantly you could you could feel an air of mean. <laughs> Ooh. But but only after you pass the the hall. You know you know what they say about nuns. Same as like high school popular girls. Sexually repressed. Really? Yeah, but freaky in the sack when you get them there. Well, I, that's not my experience. Wow. Nuns nuns have What's always your been experience? very gentle. <laughs> <laughs> nuns have always been very gentle with me. Uh, They're rough with me. Let uh -huh. me tell you. <laughs> it is just different vibes. Oh, oh yeah. You know. What, so what were they like with you? I get well, I, it, they weren't nuns. There was they a, weren't. No, Wait, no. What? It was You're shattering stereotypes for these two Jews. Well, wow, nice. Well, you guys <laughs> haven't had the inside scoop, huh? No, I have. Actually, fun, before you get into this, I want to say, you know what? A, you know what? A, when the priest like tells you to raise your hands up in prayer or something. Whoa. I just don't know this. Is that Whoa. Just a, that happened at a wedding. Wait, wait, wait. Doing like this? Like No, apparently there's a thing in Christianity like at weddings where the priest tells you to like put your hands like up like this. Uh -uh. So, like, feel your grandma's lied to you. <laughs> your grandma's <laughs> she's been I am so family. lost. And right after now. she lies, she went, shoo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like uh, You know how wait, do you know how, you know how like um I'm Googling this. And, like, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Pull that up, Jamie. Uh, you know, like people, like anti-Semites come up with like these like the stereotypical like rumors about Jewish people that they have horns or they like 
control the weather or stuff. This is your conspiracy theory yeah. about Christians. No. They raise their hands. Yeah, no, like, no, no. Let's be real. No one raises both their hands unless they're in deep crisis. I've I've had I've seen like you know like Joel Osteen that that cool cat you know he like raises his hand like this is my Bible it is my guy I've had like I've seen like one hand raised yeah I've had, I've seen people like put their hands together do something called a prayer uh-huh. have you heard of this yeah 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 so those are those are the those are the hand motions I'm aware of I don't know what um, let me actually text my girlfriend she went bowl she hockey might you're know. talking about uh, what but it- I will say they're called uh so the teachers some of the teachers were sisters so they would say sister I don't want to say their real name I'd say Hosemary or something like that. Sister Hosemary. Hosemary. I, I don't want to say the real name. Although Is it I, I do Rosemary? Think... Wow, you're a good guess. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No way, man. But uh <gasps> deductive reasoning Sister beyond belief. Hosemary. Or did yeah. I just change your name? Actually, what? did I say Hosemary or You said Hosemary. Okay, yeah, Sister Hosemary. All right, Sister Hosemary. She She's probably no longer with us, honestly. But to Dude. quote Aaron, she's in Cancun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like she, so there would be like, those would be the, like the teachers. Mm-hmm. Okay. And she was, Sister Hosemary specifically was a very mean teacher. And she would, uh, it kind of felt like, so Sister was someone that married God in church. Like you were married to God. Yes. So that, yeah. Yeah. So that is a fact. And. It just looked like God had said no. <laughs> like, that's how she treated life. It's like God had said, absolutely, no way I'm not doing this. <laughs> left her left her at the altar, you know? And she she would just take it out on kids. I'm sorry, She'd but that's... Like, if you just need to four. pause and enjoy that line, that was so funny. <laughs> but that's that's what it was. That's She's what it someone who like. God's... Oh, my God. God is an episode of Love is Blind, <laughs> where they leave God, the wait. altar. God's whole life is the bachelor, but he has to say yes to everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh man. Well, he was he closed his eyes when he said yes to her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was something like that. And she would take it out on the kids, man. She would like every time a student asked something twice, mm. oh, she would be like, just go to the bathroom. And they didn't even need to go. They she would just do it to make them leave. She would yeah, punish she them would... by letting them go to the bathroom? Well, that was a healthier way, I thought, other than the first way, which is she would just release anger. Just release all of it. What would she do? Well, she would turn real red. She would write something on the board, like, uh, don't talk or something. And then she would yell at one specific kid really embarrassingly, and it scared all the other kids around. Whoa. Yeah, it was like a wildfire bomb. So did you ever get yelled at? Oh, no. I was really scared of her. That's that's one of the reasons I stayed quiet in that class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I remember that. I'm glad I, to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you grew. So you grew up in. You went to Catholic school when you were four, and then how long did you? Were you in Catholic? So school did you go to Catholic? Yeah. What's how, that? how long were you in Catholic school? Like through twelfth grade, or no? Uh, from kin- pre-K to eighth grade. Okay. Yeah. What was going to like a non-religious high school like then? Oh, it was a big change. People not wearing uniform, people spitting gum, people wearing hats. That Damn. was different. Yeah. You weren't allowed to wear hats in Catholic school. You know, it's weird. I feel like in New York public school, you also kind of I weren't also, allowed to well, wear hats. Well, they were, teachers were also, they were big on like, I want to see your eyes. I can't see your eyes. Take off your hat so I can see your face. That's they were not very, what anyone yeah. even said. They said it was a distraction, which is so bizarre. I've never seen someone in a hat and been like, <gasps> fuck, I can't even think. <laughs> you don't what? Make, <laughs> don't make I'm me. I'm overstimulated. <laughs> Yeah, don't make me think about the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, they haven't won a Stanley Cup in too damn long. I have a big bet this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's going to get real mad if he loses. Oh, yeah. The math teacher Take just starts hat, short-circuiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, like, smoke coming out of their ears. <laughs> yeah, they weren't, like, you weren't allowed to do stuff in, uh, you were uh, just a white shirt, a clip-on tie. Except when you got to like seventh or eighth grade, they give you a real tie then. Whoa! And then you wear a vest, like a maroon mm. vest. Did you feel important with so the they vest? Take or you, you're they like, they take fashion way. seriously. Mm. They make yeah. you dress dapper from a young age. And every day, except Wednesdays or Thursdays, depending on which grade you were, those were uh, play clothes. 
which were also uniformed because we had gym those days. And kids would go a little wild on those days because oh, they had. Oh, I'm sure they had not like freedom. run around. Did you have to wear a tie for your gym uniform as well? Uh, I'll tell you that not not all the kids did, but some of us we took a stand. Oh fuck yeah! Oh yeah, okay. yeah you're gonna get dapper for gym. And and honestly, we got on the same team because of that. Whoa! Oh, like yeah. shirts and skins, like ties yeah. and no ties. Yeah, ties. Yeah. Ties and nude necks. Yeah, ties. Sounds like a slur. Nude if neck. So, <laughs> if someone was, if someone wasn't, You're fucking nude neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I we don't like your kind here. <laughs> Use yeah, the other water fountain. Now. Too dark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, with if someone wasn't wearing their tie, was it like risque? Was it like someone like wearing like like a too revealing shirt? Is that like what? Um, it wasn't risque. It was just like they would get told to not not do that. I guess. It wasn't that risque, because like, okay. it was the guys that wore the tie. Mm. I think. Uh, well, I've seen like girls' uniforms where they also have ties. Um, no, they didn't. Avril Lavigne, heard of her? Exactly. Yeah. Have you heard of her? Who is that again? <laughs> <laughs> is that the singer? Yeah, She's skater the boy. Yeah, also yeah. the vice president of Theranos. Right. Yeah. If you give one pint she, of blood, she was the Dick Cheney <laughs> of Theranos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm calling all the shots. Wait, what happens if you give one pint of blood? If you get roll? one pint of blood on Saturday night, you will know the snacks you need, and you will get it. Usually, it might be Cheez Its, but you'll know the exact things. You'll know if it's uh, cream cheese on the Cheez Its, and then sprinkle some scallions on top, or, or you would pick the right movie, and you wouldn't even have to go on Netflix for one pint of blood again. And it'd be in your brain where you pick the movie. It, would, uh, it wouldn't be on it. That you sounds wouldn't like have to pay you, for streaming. That you sounds like if you are high on. and you are trying to make a salad. That's what... Yeah. <laughs> Cheez-Its and cream cheese and scallions. Have you done that? I, that's delicious, actually, yeah. I'm sure. It's, I want to hear about your, really good, your, actually. your snack combos. Oh, yeah. I feel like you do bomb combos? snack combos. Really? Well, um, let's see. It's hard to think of all of them, you know? Give me, give me a uh, category of snack. Okay. okay. Talking gummies. Uh, let's, say, let's say something sweet. You want something sweet. What do you go oh, for? Oh, something sweet? Something with chocolate specifically. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he just came <laughs> live on the pod. A little bit, a little bit. Oh yeah. But um, I'm okay. I'm still dry. Um, <laughs> I didn't get it on my pants. <laughs> yeah. I would say, so if this is when I'm like really, really just in the in the trenches. You're in the zone. Yeah, I'm in the zone. I'd probably go go to the grocery store. Mm. I'd get uh chocolate chip the the Pillsbury chocolate chip. Mm. I'd get. That and I'll get a brownie mix, right? And I'll make them separately, and then also get an ice cream, like an ice cream. Usually, probably vanilla. I don't go too hard because you got all that chocolate and other stuff. Mm-hmm. You make the you make the cookie, you make the brownie, you put brownie cookie, ice cream, and then and then you just go in, and the hot and the cold. Yeah, oh, yeah. I yeah, hot and cold was sweet. Can I tell you what I like to do? Yes. I like to. Do I want to know? Oh, you do. do. Oh, I'm interested. You do because you will be like, I want you to do that for me because it sounds amazing. So this is what I do. I I get either like brownies or cookies uh, from uh, from a deli, and then what I do is I get parchment paper that you can bake in. I run that under the tap so it gets wet, and I scrunch it up. Then I fan it out. Then I put the cookies or brown, whatever it is that, of your choice. Put that inside the the paper, wrap it up, then I put that in my air fryer and I bake it. But here's the thing, is that because I've wet the parchment paper, it creates steam inside so they don't become too dry. They stay moist while they become warm. Then I put that in a bowl and then I add ice cream to it. That's some serial Damn. killer shit. I'm sorry. I feel like Dexter <laughs> yeah. did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And was this on like a like a Tuesday or like what? <laughs> Sometimes it is. Sometimes. <laughs> He's done this more than once. <laughs> yes, I've because it's great. This is a mark of a man with a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah, not, like, not that much free stuff? time, but it's like if I like if I get a little stony baloney mm-hmm. that I that I get like laser focused and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do something elaborate. That's what happens yeah. for me. Oh man! Did you look this up, or were you just like, "I need to I, put this"? The method of like the parchment paper and baking it so it stays. I I got that from Jamie Oliver. He did that with like it was like a thirty minute meal and like how to like 
warm up without like dehydrating like bread. Oh, and then and you were like brownies. Let's yeah. do that with brownies. Oh, I will yeah. say Lucas loves his air fryer. Possibly more than anyone fryer. I've ever met. You, one of your most popular tweets was saying you wanted to get the queen an air fryer before oh, yeah. she dies. Yeah. Damn. Well, she probably wouldn't know how to use it. Well, the thing is, Her I think would use it. I think she, I think she would. Yeah, but she wouldn't get the joy out of it. That's true. She doesn't. No, you need the hype of an air fryer before you get an air fryer. And yeah. I don't know if she's been on the receiving end of the hype. Can I ask how an air fryer works? I looked inside. I think you know those like hot plates where it's just like a metal coil and yeah. it like heats up. It's kind of like at the at the. So you have like a tray that you put into the air fryer, and then atop the tray is like one of those coils and then there's a fan that just blows the the hot air through the coils onto your food. That's yeah. basic that's what I think happens. And for one drop of blood <laughs> <laughs> you can you can find the perfect air fryer food and also stay in shape. <laughs> you can just for really one do drop a lot with a drop of blood. It's just one drop. Yeah. It's one drop. <laughs> By the way, there's no name for the for the thing where you raise your hands. Apparently, you just the priest was like, "Raise your hands," and everybody knew how to do it except me, and I put my hands above my shoulders. It's just called mm-hmm. "How to Stunt on John McCain." Where it's were just... you? Where were you? It was a Catholic wedding. A wedding, and then they told you to raise their hands. Yes, I don't know why they. Did. I feel like they were. It was an elaborate prank. What if they were just trying to start a wave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can cr- everyone raise your hands and do <laughs> hey, the wave? For whoa, the couple? Yeah. Wait for Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Wait for Jesus. But really, the, like, who? What was the right way to do it? It was like, uh, like this, like knee length. Okay. I don't know. What, I guess it's really putting your hands down ultimately. Wait. So you're just going, oh, just yeah, like that? Yeah. I don't know what. It's like a. It actually feels a little What's anti-Semitic. That, like, is that for to like receive half of Jesus or something? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I have some off-color an jokes eighth. in mind. Just doing an eighth of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, an eighth of Jesus? Dude, you get high off of just a little bit of Jesus. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm microdosing Jesus, uh-huh. honestly. <laughs> and you went, Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, give me all of it. I want all the Jesus. <laughs> Everyone was like, that crazy Jew. She wants too much Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's I want to mix strains. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they said. Damn. It's true. Anyway, I guess there's no name, but hard pivot here for a second. Yes. We were going to, because there's only one opportunity to do this before oh, yeah. it gets so old. Oh, yeah. And it's already getting old. But I do want to hear your opinion on the, the Will Smith uh, situation. Yes. Well, I'm not really that surprised, I guess. Well, um, yeah, I, I wasn't that surprised because those kind of crimes have been going on for a long time. Crimes? Oh yeah, <laughs> those crimes. <laughs> they go on for a long time. What, what kind of crimes? What kind of are, crimes? are you referring to? Black on black. <laughs> oh my god. Th- those crimes have been going on for a long time, and <gasps> I'm not saying it's right, but it's definitely not the good thing to do. Especially you're gonna do that on stage, dude. Come on, with a tie on, and it's not a clip on. Yeah, it's not even clip on tie. Yeah, they, wait, wait, they're wait, over it seventh might have grade. Been. It might have been. It might have been a clip on tie. We that's, don't know. That's why he slapped him. It wasn't because of Jada. It was like, you're wearing a clip-on tie. I'm slapping Yeah. Him. But I didn't think it was right. It just didn't feel... I mean, it was definitely entertaining. We're talking about it. Yeah. For, we're talking about it... Oh, oh, this this episode is going to come out on Monday. So this is going to be, what, two weeks from when no, it happened? No, it's going to be a week and a day since it happened. Oh. Because it was only last Sunday, and we're recording uh, Friday, uh, April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2022. I think. I think this is a hot take again. Just like, oh, it got hot, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because you're here. Shirt off yeah. this take was and so steamy. I think they should only let little people host the Oscars. Okay. I don't is think Chris they... Rock a little person to you? No, I think I no, I'm I'm, I'm this is a new suggestion. No, you're saying I... that Chris Rock should never no. host or present an award or, and I'm it should only be just a new thing, just little little people. And okay. you can't smack little people. They're too cute. You mean like like sh- really like little people yeah you're not talking about like K- kanye being five six no you're talking about no. an individual with some form of dwarfism exactly yes yes okay Have you ever watched little people big world well that's kind of self-implied i feel but yes <laughs> 
Yeah, the world the world is We don't like to assume on this show. We don't like to assume. Assuming makes an ass of you and me. Yeah. Yeah, but what about what about Nostradamus? He assumed a lot. (laughs) And he's kind of in the books. (laughs) I mean, Christopher Columbus is also in the books and he's uh he was quite the knucklehead. Who's Nostradamus? That was a kid in my building. Nostradamus, he like went around the world. He predicted things. All for one girl. What did he what did he I thought he was just a, like a good predictor. Like he would assume a lot of things and they would come true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Look this up. <laughs> uh, have you ever heard the story of when when you said Nostradamus went all around the world? Have you heard Senator Chuck Schumer? He has this speech that he does at every graduation. What does she say? What, <laughs> <laughs> what does that bitch say? She says she, Chuck Schumer, <laughs> is always like... I after high school I had a scholarship to go all around the world and I had a girlfriend and I who lived in New York and I like got rid of my scholarship to go all around the world so I could be with this girl and then when I got to this girl's house the first day after school she broke up with me no. <laughs> oh He tells God. the story at every Every graduation, everybody knows about this story. I did not know Why? about that story. That story is a did lot. Did Chuck li- Schumer never speak at your graduation? No. I know, but let me just say that story is a lot like Jada's alopecia. I didn't know. I didn't <laughs> know either. I didn't know what the fuck alopecia was. Did you know? Uh, oh, yeah, I knew what kinda, alopecia was. It's kind of like uh, if you have a beard and you kind of see like Pangea on it. Like it's all over the place. Like there's patches of land that Pangea? are separated. Oh. Like Pangea. Oh. Yeah. Pangea of the face. Or or, or the head, rather. Pangea of the face. I believe that's I'm what the disease is. Writing that down as episode title. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, I think it's caused by stress. So either Jada was... If she took the do- joke well, I, I guess she would grow hair, you know? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> my mother made a pretty saucy Jada joke it the was other really day. Funny. Oh yeah, Lucas met my mom the other day. Yeah, oh hell yeah, how'd that She's asked me out to prom. Yeah, I did. So. Really? She said no. I said no, but my mom said yes, so they're they're going out now. Oh, oh yeah, damn. yeah. See if we go all the way. Yeah. Rooting for you, man. <laughs> Rooting for you. Thanks. My dad, not so much. My my mom told me I needed to get a haircut, and I was like, yeah, I guess you're right. My hair is falling out everywhere, and she went, no. Jada's hair is falling out everywhere. Oh. My mother is saucy. <laughs> it was a, it was timed it was so timed well, well, where I was like, yeah. "What's going on?" Whoa. Yeah, she's got good. Timing. She dropped it on you. Yeah, she's yeah. dropped it on me like bomb. This so is pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I I also didn't know GI Jane wasn't a real person, and I didn't know GI. What did you think of GI Joe? What did you think well, GI Joe? Who was? GI Joe was, but I didn't remember GI Joe as being bald. I no, like, I don't think G.I. Joe is bald. I just didn't I understand didn't why G.I. Was, G. Jane was a bald joke. When I imagine G.I. Jane, she could have long flowing hair. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know. Same. Yeah, I didn't know she had, uh, what was it, alopecia? I had, yeah. no, I had no idea she had alopecia. I just thought, oh, she shaved her hair. Yeah. A la Amber Rose, maybe. Yeah. You know, peop- there are women that shave yeah. their head. You think she was happy with the slap? No one, no one asked that. I don't know. I, I think don't... she was. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Pro- I, I, women re- yeah. do be like that. You think it gave her goosebumps? Made it's... the hairs on her hand rise, and then they fell off. <laughs> 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 Woo! Terrible. Yeah, she's religious. Let's go back to the religion. She, her, the hairs on <laughs> on her hand risen to God. <laughs> <laughs> they rose the wrong way. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I, we're all going to hell, huh? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, uh-huh. I'm going to prom. With oh my yeah. Mom. First, um, I think one other weird thing. How do you I, feel about that? Oh, about him going to prom with my mom. She's driving me. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna drive. She's gonna give me the talk. Yeah, I actually oh, don't man. know how to drive, so I am gonna crash the car. Oh, so that's your. And plan. then we're gonna go yeah. to hell. <laughs> yeah, and then we're all going to hell in the yeah. car. But you'll still go to prom. In yeah, hell. in hell. Yeah. In uh, more ways than one. Uh, Oh. <laughs> Metaphorically. <laughs> the fuck are so many things? Genuine frightenness. <laughs> it's like the fuck. <laughs> oh my god. 
I will say one last thing about the Oscars fiasco. Yeah. Shortly after, Amy Schumer did a bit where she like pushed Kirsten Dunst out of the way to talk to her husband, Jesse Plemons. Mm -hmm. And I was like, read the room. We just had a wife guy like altercation. Yeah. I thought Jesse Plemons was gonna punch <laughs> Amy Schumer. That would have oh. been that would have been cool. Not cool, not pros not good, but that would have been amazing. If he was just like, you know what, I'm punching Amy Schumer. <laughs> I mean, I I'd tune into that. But yeah. also just let's be honest, they don't reading the room, I feel like that room did not do that. Cause yeah. It did not do what? Read, read the, the room. room. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't read the room. They can't. They just let it continue. Well, here's the thing is that I, I, what I did hear is that the Academy did ask Will Smith to leave. I heard it was a lie. And that, and, though, but, and that he refused. Or are I feel you, like so you're say saying that. that he never was actually asked? I've, I heard he never was asked to leave and that it was a rumor the Academy spread to make themselves look better. Can I talk about one thing? This is something that we, that we can confirm, which is that... Um, Who's we? Uh, me and Jesus. Oh yeah, and that's a big oh, we. Yeah. That's yeah. a big we. It's big the we. royal we. Um, but uh, big hog. Diddy, do you remember? Uh, Diddy said after the uh, almost immediately after the Oscar the Oscar ceremony, he was like, Will and Chris talked it out. They're they're brothers. They're past this. And Chris went on stage where he and but he was like, we did we haven't talked. He's like, I'm still just processing this. So I feel like they just do that to save face. Yeah, probably. I think you're you right. Know? Yeah, just like you, you just go to a, you you go to an event, you go to an event, and then like something happens, and then they're like, oh yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah. But then really, they, someone yeah. splashed water in your face, someone slapped you maybe. Yeah. That happened someone, to you? someone gave you well, someone gave you candy, and then it wasn't the right kind. Mm. There was like a Twix folded up into a, a Jolly Rancher or something like that. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Just dark stuff. It really feels specific what you're saying. Like it happened to you. Well, let's not go there. Okay. Let's, yeah. I'm sorry. Let's, Apologies. It's, just, it's a sorry. That it's was a dark time. That was on the list you gave us of things not to talk about. Yeah. Please. <laughs> And yeah, it was did, on the rider. Yeah, yeah, we did just. Yeah, we we make all our guests uh, give us a rider before yeah. with all of their various demands. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You had a Thank lot. You had a lot. Yeah, it was a it was a book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a big he was, book. He was a novel. <laughs> it was to kill uh -huh. a mockingbird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a dictionary actually. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff we've discussed that we shouldn't have. Yeah, oh every God. word. <laughs> <laughs> Every single word is just a list of things you can't have spoken about. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> we can't use any words. Yeah, mm. this is a silent podcast. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it gets like that because, I don't know, I haven't had uh, a vitamin C pill today. You, you know? haven't? Do you usually no. take vitamin C pills? or? Yeah, I take a vitamin C. I feel like it gets stuff going. Sparks what what's stuff. It, what's what it gets going? going? Uh, Probably my brain. Mm, like okay. it sparks it up. And what happens when your brain's going? Um, well, that's a good question. Now you've got my brain going, but um, you don't need vitamin C. You just need Gabby. Yeah, vitamin like G. Vitamin G. Oh, <laughs> oh, vitamin Gabby. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> I love him enjoying this more. <laughs> yeah, vitamin G. Vitamin G. Is there actually what a vitamin taste? G? What? No, there's not. Oh. I thought you were like about to stick your butt in my face. I was like, what's Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> but yeah, it gets your, it, it like, it starts the treadmill on your mind, I feel. Okay. Like, you know, when it, it gets going. Mm. But then the world kind of like, I feel like the world kind of pushes the treadmill faster. Mm. And, and now you have to keep up or you just have to jump off, you know? Jump off the world? The treadmill. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you a big mindfulness guy? A mindfulness guy? What do you mean, like uh, sitting down and closing eyes? Mindfulness like is a debunker guy. Oh. Oh, yeah, I know mindfulness. Damn, yes. Yeah, mindfulness. yeah he, he books a show. Yeah. Right. At the Grizzly Pair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Grizzly Pair. Are you, uh, yeah, like or sitting and closing Buddha. your eyes? Yeah, he's oh. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's mindful. <laughs> Our listeners are going to turn it off right here. One more laughing Buddha reference and I'm out. I don't oh, yeah. understand the shit. Mindfulness has a special relationship with Eastville Comedy Club. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, we stay real quiet there. <laughs> but anyway, um You like you close asking? your eyes, you meditate, think yeah. about stuff. Yeah, I do I try to do that in the morning. Mm -hmm. Usually that's good. that's good. 
Um, but sometimes, some days are better than others. Like sometimes you just sit down and then all the thoughts come at once and you don't know which one to like lock into. Yeah. But then you just, I don't know. You just, I honestly, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how, do you guys meditate? I don't. I used to, I was doing it for a while and I feel like it, it was so helpful for me, yeah. but it's, it's almost like. I can't be myself if I'm not self-sabotaging just a little bit. Mm. At least you're honest. Sadly. (laughs) But like sometimes I feel like it's like a nice nap after you wake up. Mm. Like it's like a nice little like reset button after you wake up. That's good. Yeah. And then you wake up with fresh eyes. And there's like Mm. a, there's like a, like a sunshine in your like mind before it like you open the curtains or something. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful way to describe it. Well, I like that a lot because, th- like, th- I do think sometimes thoughts are like clouds, and I say this oh, ironically. I do think yes. thoughts are like clouds in the sense Nimbus of for sure. Nimbus. Uh, what are the other clouds? Cumulus. I'm gonna be honest. Nimbus was the only thing in my mind. <laughs> yeah, I was cumulo thinking of cumul- yeah. cumulo n- nimbus clouds. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Big fan of cumulus. They were they were the really pudgy ones. Very uh-huh. cute. Sometimes ocean fog. Yeah, my my mind's a real ocean fog. Very salty <laughs> in there. I'm so foggy right now. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I. When did Nimbus come in? I've never heard that to describe a You've cloud. You've never heard? I'll, I'll look up Nimbus clouds. No. For you. Uh, I am. I'm a lot of googling this episode. A lot of Jamie. Yeah. Jamie got a lot of work for you, really man. Slacking. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We need to. We need to give up. Nim- Nim- uh, Nimbus cloud. Look. What in the world? That's so spooky. Yeah. That's, Cumulonimbus. Well, that's your thought. Well, sometimes they're white. Nimbus stratus. Not that, and not fog. that it's only spooky yeah. when it's not white. I didn't know that these were words for clouds. Yeah. Where did you learn these? School. Uh, probably Catholic school. Probably, oh. probably Sister Rosemary. Honestly. <laughs> Sister Rosemary said, "There is a cloud in your brain, and I'm gonna whip it out of you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, she used to draw clouds, and then she would make us erase it because. <laughs> Whoa, that's a power move. Uh-huh. Erase my shit, just yeah. like. Just chalk up cloud. And that's a harsh noise already. Oy. Oy. Yeah. Woof. And then go erase it. Or go to the bathroom and deal with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and some kids would just stay in there. Just, oh, man. They would, oh, man. They, they've done some horrible stuff in there. What do they do in the bathroom? The worst thing, like, kids did in my school. And, like, when I was in middle school, there was one time where they smoked weed in the bathroom. That's really bad. Yeah. I don't think anyone should be smoking weed. But in elementary school? A middle school, they did that. Okay. Oh yeah. They've there's been people. Uh, they they put the toilet on the ceiling. Wh- I don't even know how. I was. I swear to God. That's awesome. <laughs> and there was one time on the second floor, someone had defecated in a bag, probably a Costco bag, and they put it on top of the heater. Oh no. And then every time you would go to the second floor, just you got to exit. Awesome. Uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, what is that? Strawberry. What's your favorite scent? Lavender. Uh, Lavender? Trees in the rain. Trees in the rain. What kind of tree though? I feel like some trees have different things. Pine is good. Pine is nice. Yeah, pine. Uh, really, any tree. Like the petrichor smell is just very nice. Wow. And do you go outside for the, for the rain just to smell that some days? Yeah. You ever hear the Hillary Duff song? Let the rain, rain fall, fall down. down uh-huh. And touch my knees. <laughs> that's pretty nice that's the experience i haven't had just smelling stuff in the rain what's oh, your yeah. favorite smell my favorite smell i'm really into uh there's this uh i have essential oils mm. oh love those. yeah yeah and there's a combination that i really like it's peppermint eucalyptus and bergam bergamot bergamot yeah, yeah. i thought you were about to say bergamosco <laughs> bergamosco <laughs> that's it's a that's a, like a region in italy i think uh huh. No wait, Bergamo. Yeah, yeah. That's Berga it. Moscow is, is Berga Moscow. That's uh, that's someone who went to Italy and then brought it back to Russia, as they do. Oh shoo, shoo. shoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it smells like uh, it smells like uh, just like it smells like a, a little person gave you a hug. You're really on the little people kick today. I feel like they're beautiful people, and if they give you a hug, it just it just it's love. That's, I'm, that's I'm great. with you on that. I I used to see Peter Dinklage around at the at the uh, pizza shop near my. Did you house. ever get a hug from Peter Dinklage? 
I did it. I think it would have been weird to ask. I did ask Jake Gyllenhaal for a hug once. <gasps> oh, what did he, he say? give it to you? He gave me a hug. Was it good? It was great. He smelled like fresh linen. Oh, that's oh. a that's a nice. He came to speak to us in high school, and uh, afterwards we all came up and like tried to ask him questions. And I didn't really, people were trying to be pretentious about it. They were like, just because he's a celebrity doesn't mean he's different than any of us. And I was laughing. I was like, he's so different than any of us. <laughs> he is on a different plane from any of us. He's so famous. You guys don't understand how much he's not like you. And yeah. everyone hated me for saying that. And then I went up to him and I asked if he would give me a hug. <laughs> and he said, yes. Oh, he gave me yeah. a hug. And then afterwards, the teacher really insulted me because... A friend of mine was like, oh, my God, I can't believe she hugged Jake Gyllenhaal. The teacher said to her, don't worry, kid. One day you'll work with Jake Gyllenhaal. And that girl is now a, a C-list actress who probably will never work with Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, man. So. Man, I, everything was going positive until the end. Yeah, right until the end. But I got God a damn. hug from Jake Gyllenhaal. That's yeah, what matters. And obviously he's different. That's what yeah. I... Yeah. No, yeah. we can, That's okay. We can say that. Yeah. They're different. Yeah, you walk down the street, people don't go to Boncourt. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do. They It'd be will weird now. if I That's didn't. <laughs> they true. will now that you're on this podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. You walk down the street. <laughs> <laughs> de Boncourt. Hey, de Boncourt. <laughs> I love that guy. Uh, and speaking of everyone wanting your take, do you want to give advice on some listener we would submissions? Oh, uh, sure. If I can. Oh, I, yes. I hope it helps. <laughs> what if we were like, oh, do you want to? Uh, sure. No. All right. Not I got win. um. I got one pulled up. All right. Here we go. Okay. So this person writes, I have a phobia of sea creatures. It seemed to have started when I was around nine. As a kid, uh, I had no problem going to aquariums or eating seafood. I had fish all growing up as well. Uh, over time, I developed an unexplainable disgust slash fear of underwater creatures. No major traumatic uh, event occurred as to make this happen, to my knowledge, question mark, question mark. <laughs> but since then, I refuse to eat any seafood and will not go to an aquarium. I even avoid looking at the fish in pet stores. If I accidentally eat something with seafood in it, I feel absolutely disgusted, like I'm close to throwing up. It's not the flavor, but rather the idea I'm consuming fish. Uh, in parentheses, I'm not like this with other meat. End parentheses. I'm not like the other girls. Have you <laughs> developed an allergy, maybe? I don't think so. I think this is all mental. I oh. think um, I was fine with the with the tank in my house and enjoy looking at fish in ponds, but even going into a river or the ocean makes me uncomfy. I sometimes have dreams I'm at an aquarium against my will or other sorts of scary fish situations. Although they're forgiving, my family thinks I'm crazy. I don't know why I have this phobia, but it was nice to talk about it. Love you guys. Wow. That's interesting. I've never gone through the day and be like, oh, man, I'm really scared of fish. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. I think there might be a traumatic event where you encountered. I think a fish touched you. Yeah, or maybe you've got really bad, uh, like a stomach virus from eating bad fish. That is a real thing. Yeah. Where you have like a really upset stomach after eating one thing and then that food in your mind is poison to you. Exactly. And maybe you just don't have a good memory of eating that thing. I'm going to go with the fish touch this person because, mm. you know, remember that fish from Shark Tales? Fish are shark notoriously. Yeah. You remember Which Shark ones? Tales? The one with the eyebrows. Shark Tail? Shark, shark Tail. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. You mean Will? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's he all looks, full He circle, looks a huh? little. He looks a little sus. And honestly, in that movie, if I do recall, Will got slapped. <laughs> I think he did. Yeah. He got shocked as well and by the he yeah. by the Rasta jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah. He got what was coming to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Um. But, but yeah, what this is is it possible this person saw a movie that made her afraid of it? Because like. Out of I was I had a phobia of uh, giant squid because I saw Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Oh damn! And uh, I was never gonna encounter. I'm still probably never gonna encounter a, a giant squid, but they're still like it's yeah. Very that's scary. the thing. Like I love eating squid. By the way, I think they're delicious. Yeah, they're pretty delicious actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love I love eating just seafood in general. Oh yeah, me too. But for this guy's case, like, does he encounter fish a lot? That's what I'm thinking. Like is he is he going around the day like is he encountering fish, like throughout the day? Sounds like they're this person's encountering fish a lot. Yeah. I, I, the the phrase, 
I dream I'm in an aquarium against my will did yeah. really stick yeah. out to me. <laughs> that is a uh, that's that's very particular. As yeah, if also, to say like you're going in the aquarium, yeah. you have yeah. no choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here's a glowfish. But anyway, like why is he like like I want to know where he lives or he or she or like or, yeah. yeah, like where do they live? It's a good question. What if it's underwater? <laughs> then they can't avoid yeah. it. What do if you... they live in just a biodome? What Ever like heard of Atlantis? Yeah. <laughs> mm. What if uh what if they had like a we family have such a member? wide reach? <laughs> I wonder <laughs> what uh, our uh, what our popularity is on uh, the ratings for Atlantis. Yeah, yeah, we're the number one comedy podcast. What if we're like 121 like we are in Israel? <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys uh delivering your USB chips in the ponds. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Follow us on SoundCloud right yeah. now. I'm sorry you're all dead. <laughs> yeah, everyone's throwing quarters. You're like USB over there. <laughs> USB over here. Yeah. Here's we, a subscription for our YouTube channel. We put a message in a bottle, but it's just our URL. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That'd be a nice way to market, huh? That'd be pretty cool. It is a way. It, it's it's never been done. Yeah. We could be the biggest in that form. Yeah. Yeah. Untapped potential. But I don't know. This story sounds fishy, but like, it's, <laughs> it's really just. All right. Oh, right. I see what I did. But um. I thought you did it on purpose. Yeah, well, it's like, it's kind of like, I don't know where they're encountering fish. Like, I don't go, like, me personally, I don't, like, you guys can attest to this. Do you guys go encountering fish a lot when no. you walk no, outside? No, never. It almost never happens unless yeah. I want it to. Yeah. I don't even think of a salmon throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, just, like, any fish or a swordfish, whatever, whatever you fancy. Yeah. But, like, I wonder what happened. Like, do you watch Finding Nemo? Did he have an emotional connection to Finding Nemo? Maybe, maybe. Like, maybe he lost a lost a friend. I think this individual needs to maybe have a regression session with their uh, therapist, if possible, oh. and like see d- delve into the memory. Or watch a Shark bit. Tales again, and, and see if you can identify the perpetrator among the lineup of Shark Tales. Mm. Uh huh. It might be Will, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> what if Will Smith is responsible for this? <laughs> Yeah, he definitely is. Wait, what if this person wrote in only after the Oscars and suddenly like, oh, I suddenly hate fish. Oh, uh, dude. What if uh, Will's like a trigger word and then just go, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 suddenly I hate fish. <laughs> right after all the news came out. I yeah. suddenly feel like I have to be there <laughs> against my will. An aquarium. Uh, get, oh, 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 wow. I'm sorry you feel this way. Uh huh. I'm Listener. sorry too. Hit up another one. Okay. Yeah, I love that. That's what. That's the best advice we can yeah, give. Yeah. Hope I'm you have a good Saturday, man. Feel this way. <laughs> um. Okay. So somebody. Uh, this is a short one. Hmm. Good morning or afternoon or evening. Very considerate. Yeah. Do you think so it's inclusive weird of the times of day yeah. that people say I will see you next time when they're done with a video or something like that? I do. Wait, can you repeat that one more time? Just see you next that's time? A, that's our sign-off. Do you think it's weird that people, yeah, people like us say, I will see you next time when they're done with a video or something like that? I, I do. Mean, what do you tell your friends? Like, I'll see you next time. That's a normal thing <laughs> to say. You yeah. tell your friends, I'll never see you again. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> what are they? Well, here's the th- Well, here's my issue with that is like, it's, it's one thing to like, just bring up something you don't like, but then you need to offer a solution. You need to offer a substitute that you would prefer. I won't see you ever again. Yeah. Mm. Or Fine. just or just maybe maybe they're very respectful of time and they want just see ya. You know? Ooh, just see ya. That's fine. You gotta cut yeah. words. Yeah. You can't yeah. have extraneous cut, words cut in your sentence. Fat. Yeah, cut the yeah. fat see on ya. this one. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Wouldn't wanna be ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very see ya. won't hear ya. <laughs> um. Yeah. And then just zip. Yeah, if you're trying to save time and get get to this place on time, <laughs> you might wanna <laughs> cut some words. Cut all the crap. You Smell know? you later. That's yeah. a good one. That's a great one. Smell you later is a great one. Yeah, uh-huh. I guess that's an easy one to just. Uh, I'm again. I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah. that's the advice we're giving. A lot of I'm sorry yeah. you feel that way. Yeah, all right, ya. last one. All right, okay. So I get really bad intrusive thoughts, especially when I'm not talking or listening to something. The pod is very helpful to me because of this. But in your episode, hate is hate. You guys talk about Bob's 
and it reminded me of a reoccurring intrusive thought I get all the time. Because of uh, because of this thought, I avoid doors, knives, and scissors as much as I can. But every time I'm around <laughs> one of these things, I think about my nipples being cut off. Like, just bam. No more nips. Nip on the floor. And I'm pretty sure the way I avoid things and obsess over intrusive thoughts is a sign of OCD. But whatever. Anyways, do you guys have any way you deal with intrusive thoughts and compulsions? Well, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're doing it is stupid. Did this person mean boobs? They they do mean boobs, I'm sure. When they wrote bobs? Yeah, for sure. He Bob got and the vagine. <laughs> yeah, they got excited. <laughs> that sounds like an old couple. <laughs> Bob and vagine next door. <laughs> Are we going to Bob and Vagines for dinner? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, they do a lovely roast. I will say, okay, Bob one... Bob and Vagines are fucking <laughs> awesome. One thing about this, um, I thought I heard a story about someone who, like, plucked a hair from near their uh, nipple, and it, like, pulled out a nerve, which is, gro- oh. which is gross. Like, Ooh. yeah, obviously very visceral. Ha. <sighs> And yeah. then I told Oof. the person who I cl- very clearly remember telling me that story. I was like, do you remember when you told me that thing? She was like, I have never, ever heard that story in my life. So somehow I feel like it like got in my head through osmosis. Are you mm. saying against your will? It went Against my will. <laughs> like oh this my story. This story is an aquarium. <laughs> yeah. The story is an aquarium. Like I don't. What I'm saying is I. I don't know how I came upon this information because the person I was sure told it to me. Did you ever look it up to like confirm that it happened? No. Ew. I'm not going to look it up. That's disgusting. Well, you know, some would. (laughs) (laughs) A better man would. (laughs) What are you saying? I'm just saying saying incognito exists and stuff can be seen. But also why doors? Yeah, that is a weird one. That was I have a door's not gonna take what, people off. You think you think uh, the sliding <laughs> doors will go exactly on your oh nips? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Do Imagine you know how like hard that is. And how this is hard? how we what will kill you, Mister Bond. <laughs> Oh, the doors will close on your nipple. The oh. engineering there does not work. Yeah, you almost have to like do it precisely. You can't just get yeah. stuck. Oh no! Help me, sir! I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck nip. <laughs> It's so weird. <laughs> the person helps you out, and they're like, "Sir, I think you dropped something. It's your yeah. nipple on the floor." <laughs> no, <laughs> not again. No. I don't think it's possible for your hair to go that deep to just a single nerve. No, I don't think so either. No, I think whoever. I think was... it would hurt. I, I bet it did feel like it was a nerve. Like yeah, maybe like it felt really bad. But um, yeah. What, what was the what do they really want from this? Because they kind of said whatever <laughs> at the end. Like, they, they asked. How, how do we, we deal with intrusive thoughts? Oh, well, I would say you feel them out. Um, I would say you just f- like feel them intensely and not try to avoid them. Mm. That's what I try to do. That's very good, actually. Just like acceptance. and Yeah, you just accept it and be like, hey, it's going to suck for a little bit. And you just kind of like maybe sit down with it or maybe uh, maybe cook or something. Something without the TV on. Mm. and then just kind of just sit with it and then later on you'll just it just processes by itself because your your brain's kind of your brain's kind of dope it just does it and it's quirky yeah it's and, not like other brains well that depends really depends where you're from what zip code um yeah so, some places are different than others but <laughs> usually you have your own way of, about it but I, I would choose an activity that you like and just really just feel through whatever whatever you're feeling and just let it let it happen. That's good. I think yeah. that's really good advice. That is excellent advice. It's kind of what I was going to say. Like, I usually take a walk. Mm. I do sometimes. I don't have intrusive thoughts so much as little compulsions. I have a lot of like, did I remember to turn this stove off? And oh, I take like meds. Isn't for that, that the worst? Because you don't trust yourself. Uh, yeah, I know. What the fuck is that about? I do that with like, is did I lock my door? When I like get in bed, I'm like, did I lock my door? And then I like get up to check, yeah. and I did lock, and I'm like, okay, back to bed. And you I, know, it fucks you sometimes because sometimes you put in your GPS 
the right address. Uh huh. <laughs> and then you get get to the wrong spot. What did you put in your GPS? Well, exactly. I don't want to. I don't want to dox you. Oh here. yeah, of course. I forgot <laughs> that. <laughs> dox Lucas. <laughs> I, I totally just walked myself into the worst One situation. One butthole lane. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Big butthole lane west. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. Yeah. That was a big mishap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. That's Lucas's address. And yep. and here at Lucas's wonderful address, we're getting to the final segment yes. of our pod. Would you like would to ask the question? Sure. I, I would indeed. I'm so glad you asked if I would like that. Babe. Consent is key. Anyway, um, Debancor, we have a thing at the end called Self-Perception Corner where we ask our guest how they believe they are perceived, and then we say how we actually perceive you. Oh, man. That made me sweat a little. Um. Yeah, that was that's really intense. The chair question. is soaked right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like a snow, like the when you go on the slow and do like an angel. Oh yep, yeah, 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 yeah. But in my couch, yeah. Yeah. Sweat angel. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah. But um, I don't know. You're asking me how I think I'm perceived. Yes, how you think you are perceived by other people. Oh man. Well, isn't it isn't it different for different people? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's different. And you can talk about all those different you, people. You can mention it all. Um, well, usually it goes two ways. Usually the f- first way and the most one is just like, if people are around me, they, they kind of understand that I kind of go in and out of seriousness. Mm-hmm. I kind of just always just like falling asleep. You know how like when you fall asleep in class or like when you're dozing off, mm. that's just me all the time. <laughs> I feel just, yeah. yeah. And then, or the way you took me where he was like, this guy's not, just nothing he says makes sense. Nothing he says, just like, everything's a lie. (laughs) This guy needs to be excommunicated from whatever park this is. And (laughs) like, it usually goes two ways. But I feel like people perceive me as a, an okay guy, I think. Like someone who's got some love, but also some tension, you know? How, how do you guys perceive me? Yeah, I was going to say, okay, guy. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I think uh, I, I definitely like thought you were quieter than you actually are at first, which is kind of what I said before. I felt like maybe you were like a quieter, like shyer guy. But I yeah. feel like you've got, a, you've got a lot to it to you, and you're not <laughs> afraid to speak it, you know? Yeah, you think so? Well, that makes me feel really nice. Really? So, yeah. yeah. Seriously, yeah. You've got like a lot of... Um, I don't want to say quirky thoughts. That's not the right word. But you have a lot of like interesting tangents in your brain, I think. Mm. And and I do oh, like. Oh yeah, there's a lot of left turns. <laughs> there's a lot of left turns, uh-huh. and I love that because I'm the same way. There's a yeah. lot. Your of brain left just turns. goes around the block, just yeah. like yeah, <laughs> roundabouts. Yeah. yeah. Nothing straight and narrow about these brains. Yeah. On this pod, and and I think I think that's really cool. It's honestly something that makes me very comfortable in conversation because when someone is too linear. I worry that I'm fucking everything up. Oh yeah, like a cop. Yeah, like yeah. a fucking yeah. When when they're like, "Where were you last night, Miss Brown?" I'm like, oh, "Well, why don't you have some more tangents in your brain?" Than <laughs> yeah, that? that's what I'm <laughs> always thinking. But I do find you to be a calming presence for that reason. I feel like you're not oh, gonna be you. like, you're not gonna be like, "What's this idiot talking about?" Oh no, I'm game for everything. Cause you're the idiot too. Exactly. In the best possible no, way. No, I totally yeah. get that. Yeah. Mm. That I totally get that. Cause like. If you're taking so many left turns, you don't know where you're going. Yes, that's mm. what I'm saying. Yeah. But you're always going to end up right where you started. Yeah, which was the place you were meant to go, I guess. That was beautiful, huh? <laughs> that's what Confucius said. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did. But yeah, what about what about yourself? This is a hard question for me. because like, it is, It's a hard question. It is, yeah. yeah why is it why a specifically hard question for you, do you think? Well, because like... I don't really know. Like, I feel like people don't end. Like, hmm. so like, there's a perception of you now, but it's gonna change in a year, an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so true. like, I feel like you're never changing. So when you ask me now, I'm do you like, mean right. always changing? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Always, sorry, yeah, always. People are changing. always changing in an hour, but not forever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. things happen. You know, the weather changes. You're right. Yeah. You get water in your eye. People get angry. From a nimbus cloud. From a nimbus cloud. That was uh, not by your own will, uh, but <laughs> just I do not consent to the <laughs> rain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, that, that's why I think it's a hard question because like it, it it changes just so like so much, and I feel like I've changed throughout the years. So it, it's hard to like it's hard to pinpoint just one spot like this is who I am. Yeah, and that's how mm. people see me. It's one of you those know? cool things when we have people back. We're like, how has your self perception changed since the last time we saw you? And often, like, it does change pretty noticeably because people feel like it's because that's our effect on people. That's our effect. Yeah, people go on this yeah. podcast. They're like, I'm so sexy now. Mm. That's what they think. Oh, but yeah. it's like you know, I you can't wait. You, <laughs> you're <laughs> yeah. gonna really feel the effects of it in two minutes. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like people. You know, they work. <laughs> 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 you, just sprouted. you just sprouted wait lucas what do you think of devon Corey? i think that you are at well one of my favorite things is that we um we did um some shows in new england we went to do um connor kafia chain's uh uh thing uh curbside comedy we did some shows there and you very kindly like drove us both there and back and we had a lot of time to talk and it was very nice like getting to talk to you just to realize oh you're actually a very empathetic like very much a full rounded person yeah. That was something I was like, I was very pleased As to get to, the to know about you. the sociopath he thought you were. Exactly. Oh, Not that really? I thought you were a sociopath, but I just, I, I didn't know you as well until then. And then I felt like I got to see like a very grounded, very like personable oh, side okay. of you. What, what did you think I was before that? <laughs> Not that I didn't think you were that. Yeah. It was that I just didn't necessarily experience it. I didn't like have like right. an in-depth conversation with like about past and like relationships and how you are it was and just deep stuff you know and it was that was a very that was just a wonderful thing for me to like see that side of you yeah i had a great time too man that was fun it was a long it was a long drive but yeah i'm glad we talked a lot of stuff i think there was no there was just sorry i'm just reminiscing right now that's okay but um what are you remembering yeah re-remembering that's right uh, no, what it, are you remembering? Oh, just I remember like we were. I think we went kayaking too. Yeah, that was so much fun. <gasps> That's oh. so fun. It was a and beautiful you day before comedy. Isn't that insane? We did that, and then we went to do a show. It was in the most gorgeous setting, in like sort of elevated field. There were trees around, vivid green mountains in the background. It was just insane. Yeah. It was it was too happy and positive to do comedy. In. I know it made me feel nervous a little. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, because it was like everything's all right. The world could go at any moment now, and it was like that. But it was so it was so calming. The and wrong like, frame of mind for a comedy show when you're feel feeling like the world is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But it was nice. It's nice to be an, uh, a normal human being. That is nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, and I personally love kayaking. It's so great. Yeah, that was my first time, actually. Really? Yeah. I've yeah. never... I loved it. Yeah. I've been, like, maybe once or twice. Wow. And did you like it before that? or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I found I it tiring again. before. I didn't find it as... Because t- we also could just, like... We were also, like, not going anywhere. We were just, like, paddling around just enjoying ourselves, you know? Yeah, we were just laying there. Yeah. It was great. We were just great. laying there, let, let the sun hit us in the face and stuff like that. It was that. beautiful. Yeah. It was such a great day. The sun hit you in the face. Oh yeah, and big then was one. asked like to leave big the Oscar. Pizza pie, that's some more. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you guys. I always thought you guys were just, uh, just very welcoming. Um, oh, thank you. Just always like accepting whatever's coming, and you guys have like an energy where, um, it's like if we walked into a room, you'll make everything okay. Oh, that's, that's really what nice. I feel. Yeah. Thank you. That's so we beautiful. didn't ask for your opinion. Oh, but we welcome we it anyway. <laughs> 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 but it is nice that you brought it. To yeah. our Would you attention. please plug and promote anything you have coming up? Anything you like? Okay. Just to uh, re reinstate for one drop of blood. <laughs> 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 you uh, can come to Debunker's <laughs> comedy show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the payment. One <laughs> drop of blood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Now you could just follow me on uh, Deboncor Breathes because sometimes I have to remind myself to. Um, it's to follow you. <laughs> to follow yeah. yourself, yeah. I gotta follow myself. Yeah, man. to follow myself in life and just to breathe. Um, yeah, Deboncor Breathes, and nice. stuff will be posted there for future times. Beautiful. And breathe, yeah. he does. That that's right. Lucas, you got nice. any plugs? I I believe that my sketch group, uh, 24 Hour Kiss Club, I think we have a show 
April 10th, I believe, either April 8th or April 10th. I'll uh, I'll be posting about it on Instagram regardless. Uh, I'm on Luke, uh, Lucas T. Arnold on all social media. And you can find my dates at lucastarnold.com forward slash uh, comedy or forward slash live. I am Hip Soccer Mom on Instagram and Venmo. And I Venmo me at Hip Soccer Mom for all of the beautiful thoughts you've heard. Lucas Dash Arnold on Venmo. Thank you guys for having me. This was lovely. This was lovely. This yeah. was great. Oh, on the Wednesday, I'm doing a roast at Grove 34 of Wait. Lee Land. Oh, uh, say the oh. date. Say the date. Da- uh, April. F- fuck! I don't remember dates. Uh, bu- 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 You'll be posting about it on Instagram, but anyway. Uh, April, it's April, April. Six, six, April 6th at 8 p.m. Cool. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, Debonco. And we'll see you next time, even if you hate that we say that. Fuck you! Yeah.